pretty exciting day, opening day of the season for me here in Idaho. Meeting up with Johnny Utah and my buddy Jason at an old, uh, kind of like a Queen Anne style house downtown Nampa, Idaho. Fingers crossed. Okay guys, we're here at a house that was built in 1906. You know they had money because it is gigantic. And there's a brewery that was built like right over here, this brick building behind me. So. Hopefully there was a bunch of people drinking, partying, losing money, falling down in the front lawn. The bad thing is, is that it was all flood irrigated. So this whole yard behind me was flood irrigated, which means that coins and other relics are going to be pretty deep, most likely. Pull tab. I got a zinc. Zinkin. Clad dime. What? Clad dime at five? Clad dime. Ooh, yuck. Yeah, it was more four or so. Another dime. Deep. Why are they so deep? Hey, all right. Silver. We got silver in the hole. Yeah. Not old, but uh, silver. John's on the board with a wheat penny, finally. Got some time period coinage. Let's see the thing. 1945. The force is strong with this one. Yeah. Thirty-nine. Well, it's an older one. Still think there's something else in there, though. There we are. Wheat. Nineteen forty-one. All right. That's not bad. Nice item. Ah, it's another clad dime. Dang it. John's got a nice signal over here. What are you working on? First, I thought it was a coin, but. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see it now. Kind of looks, what's it look like to you? Kind of looks it looks like either the ass end of a beaver tail or a spoon, maybe. I'm thinking it might be. It feels this like with my bare hands, it feels spoony. Yeah, nice. Oh, that's got some decoration on it, too, man. 
That's really pretty. So you got any marks on the back? Oh yeah. What day is, is, it? is it Tuesday? Sterling plate. Sweet. Boom shaggy. Well, get a spoon. <laughs> That's awesome. Cool. Sweet find. Thanks. What are you working on? <laughs> Found it! <laughs> Found it! <laughs> 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 Jason, the Iron Man nut. <laughs> <That's my work. laughs> Nickel. 13 on the money. Nineteen eighty one. Year I was born. All right. End of the day totals. Uh, got like a old nickel from the thirties. Old bullet. Got a wheat penny. Kind of cool old car. A couple lighters. This is my best find of the day. Nice little silver chain. Go to the Iron Man's pile here. It's got a part of a harmonica reed. That's kind of a fun find for this. So we know that's time period. Uh, some clad gold plated ring. Uh, Keychain might be silver, might be stainless, might be aluminum. I don't know. It's shiny and it's pretty. Old pocket knife. That's definitely period. Moving on to Johnny Utah stuff here. I think this is going to be the find of the day. The uh, Pepsid gum box thing. Pepsin. Pepsin. Pep. The Pepsin gum. Good God. I think I just had a stroke. <clears throat> I think this is the find of the day. It's uh, John's find. The Pepsin gum box. We're going to have to do a little research on this. Find out what the heck that is. Eh, close second on uh, John's find again. John was using CTX today. Nice sterling plated spoon or something like that. So that was our take for a couple hours worth of detecting. Um, before we leave though, actually Jason has the keys to this place and we're going to go take a tour. Maybe there's some treasures to be had inside. Pretty impressive house. You gotta imagine how much money these people would have had back in the day to build something this extravagant. It's very cool. I'm glad that we took a look around. We might see you later. If not, I'm just gonna end the episode. I'm going to England in like five days. Super pumped about that. Stay tuned. I'm gonna have a lot of cool footage coming your way. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.